Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Vlahovic to review today. So, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot three, high medium work rates, left footed, four star, four star capabilities. So, if we take a look at this Vlahovic card in game, guys, uh, the difference between this one and the older one is going to be in massive, massive changes, right? So we're looking at an agility and balance boost, which is the main one, uh, composure boost, a little bit of a shooting boost with a pace boost. And on top of all of that, guys, he actually has a work rate change as well. So he goes from a medium, medium work rate player to a high medium work rate of player. Now with cards like this, guys, um, I do feel like because they are physical oriented strikers, I feel like by default, they feel very target man oriented in game, right? Like, so they come close, pass it off, make the run, right? That's like a consistent thing with cards like this. Uh, so the work rate train change is definitely going to be a very interesting thing to look at. Uh, in game player traits, he has none in game attributes. He is going to be working with 88 acceleration, 91 for sprint speed. So let's say for instance, you know, with his dribbling being the way that it is. If you don't care too much about giving him an engine chemistry style, you could totally give him a Hawk chemistry style to boost his physical as much as possible, his pace as much as possible, as well as his shooting, right? Uh, and then you would just be working with the dribbling as it is. But for the sake of the review, we are going to be giving him an engine chemistry style because I want to see uh, the difference in his dribbling with the high and average body type at a six foot three height. Base card stats for shooting is actually pretty solid, more solid for the inside of the 18 yard box. Outside of it will be a little bit less consistent, obviously. Uh, base card stats for passing as a striker, pretty decent. Long passing isn't great, but it's the short pass and that's going to be very important for him. Dribbling, like I said, we will be experimenting with in game, seeing what it's like. Uh, Vlahovic has 90 jumping to work with that height and body type with 98 heading accuracy. So the way that this usually works when it comes to heading is because heading is not like a crazy thing this year, right? is that even if they have jumping capabilities, it's decent to use, but when you have like a high and average body type, they still feel like, the way to explain it is like they feel heavy when jumping in the air. Like you can kind of see the animation choices that they actually end up making uh, when they go for those jumps, right? So with 90 jumping, it's gonna be very interesting to see what he's like while in the air. And then obviously for physical stats, he's working with some very, very good stuff considering the fact that he is a high and average body type. So. With Vlahovic in game, guys, we are going to be working with a card that is going to be playing in the striker position, the 4 1 2 and 2 tactic. Uh, as you guys know, when we do reviews, I will switch off the instructions, I'll switch on the instructions. So, obviously, in this position right here, um, this one is the stay back one. So, he would be on getting behind, while this one is the comeback and defense, right? So, on getting behind with Vlahovic in that left striker position, we'll be able to test out what he's like on the attack, pushing forward, all of that good stuff. Uh, and then we'll also take off the instruction to kind of see base characteristics, because even with certain tactics, you can kind of see which cards move a certain way, like i.e. Ronaldo when I actually reviewed him, right? So, um, yeah, we'll try him out in game. Hopefully, he is a beast. Oh, we actually made that work there, eh? You gotta time the uh, the L trigger shields well enough in those situations. Okay, okay, okay. His dribbling is actually working out well. I'm gonna do a little R1 right here to push him a little bit higher. Okay. I don't want to time these because I kind of want to see how he does it by himself because I know a lot of you guys don't time, so... Ooh, clean. Clean, clean, clean. Very clean there. I like that. Very clean strike. Okay, goes for the volley. I was trying to go for a header with him there, but I'm going to do full power here. Okay, so you do have to... I have to control him there. Mm, I should have done an extra skim over there. Wasn't the best choice. Okay, so what we want to do is do it here, and then we want to do this, and then control them like this, and then go on the inside. Oh, almost. He actually had a really good animation for that. Not bad at all. Oh, he rotated to his right foot there. Interesting. I wanted to get off his with his left, but 
Goes for the inside strike there. Oh! You were able to hit the ball from that angle, eh? I didn't even time that. If I timed that, it might be a goal there. A good little defensive play there by Vlahovic. Ah, oh, I should have done the scoop there. That would have been way too easy for him to get, for sure. Oh, almost, almost. We had the post there on his weak foot. I knew he was offside, but I wanted to try it without timing it again. There you go. Good run. A little finish on his right foot, too. Oh, I tried it. Really? Hmm, interesting. I wanted to try a strike from like a really rough angle, so I just wanted to shoot that right away. Ooh, imagine he gets in front of the goalkeeper there. Oh, no way. I put too much power, eh? Those situations are nice for those far post crosses. There you go. Get him on his strong foot. On a white, off balance strike. Those are shots you would never take, but you got to try them. Less power on the pass. Good run, though. Good run. Oh, what was that touch, Vlahovic? No chance. Oh, too much power again. No, I even got the shot cancel angle. I just wanted to try out his heading presence. He did well there, though. Oh, more power, more power. Oh, I was trying to go for like a bicycle kick, but I don't think he's going to register one from there. Oh, I actually got the shot cancel there. I got the small shot cancel. Oh, that actually went through the defenders. Wow. Super surprised there. Hey, I'm just saying, Dika just let me score that opportunity right there. What a header. Do you see that backwards? Sheesh. Good, good adjustment. Good adjustment. Good strike with the right foot. Although it was kind of based off of the middle there. I like how much better his dribbling feels in this card compared to that player of the month card. I'm lucky he didn't do the uh, law pass there. Oh, the pass was good. Or the pass idea was good, just the power. Oh, you know what? I should have done a law pass there. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing a double tap. Ooh, you know I gotta try those. Woo! Oh! Oh, I thought I was gonna get the second one there. Oh, physical type strikers, eh, boys? <laughs> Woo, those are the ones, man. It's those ones. Those are the ones, guys. Ah, no, no chance, no chance. It's funny, man, because he had a work rate change, but 
he still feels like he acts like a media medium, you know, like, I guess it's because of his body type, you know, because he's a physical type player, kind of target man and then run, you know what I'm saying? Like, he still feels like that, in my opinion. Is it a goal kick? Oh, so I missed. Okay, so I missed that one. Oh, crossbar again. <laughs> Come on. No, come on. Vlahovic. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Is this crossbar simulator? See? It's it's just very, very target man oriented. Not super like even though he has the high medium work rates, it's more for like certain areas of the pitch where he'll actually start to make the run, but he still feels like a medium medium because of his body type and stuff, you know? Yes! Let's go! Ooh! No, man, I, I should have ball rolled shot. Why don't I do that? Ball roll strike. I got, I'm taking extra touches because I'm stupid. I'll just do a nice little finesse there. I haven't finessed inside the 18 in a while, man. It's been a while. Okay, yeah, I expect to score those. I mean, come on. <laughs> Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Vlahovic card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, we gave him an engine chemistry style because he wanted to improve the dribbling as much as possible, considering the fact that he does have a six foot three height with a high and average body type. With the dribbling, guys, you're still going to notice it, right? Because high and average body type in the attack, again, is not necessarily super ideal in FIFA. But for a physical type striker, he actually does some pretty decent sharp touches with the engine chemistry style. Uh, the touches that I always try to teach you guys to do is those quick shielding touches. It's when you press L2 or LT to kind of shield off the ball, but take a really sharp touch at the same time, right? And it works really well with cards like this because of how big they are in game, uh, because of how good their physical stats are to work with that body type, right? So it is something that you do have to take into consideration when using a card like this in your team. Um, his work rate adjustments from a medium medium to a high medium doesn't feel crazy noticeable, right? It's It might be there a little bit, uh, but the thing is, though, is that I do think that his body type and height, it still makes him kind of uh, play a certain way on the pitch, right? Like, he's still very target man oriented, grab the ball, lay it off to other players kind of guy, right? Like, even though he's high, medium, work rated, it's usually the case with the physical oriented strikers. There's a, a couple of cards that still make some very decent runs. Uh, like, the SBC card actually was pretty decent when it came to his runs. Uh, but Vlahovic still feels very, very target man oriented in regards to how he plays on the pitch, which is not an issue. It just depends on the play style of how you want to line up your other players, because what I would suggest is trying to have an aggressive player next to him, right? Because we had him on the get and behind comeback instruction on the bounce instruction just to see what he was like pushing forward, coming back, right? Uh, just to see what he's like on the pitch, right? Uh, so for me personally, guys, the finishing on the card, I don't think I've ever hit the post or the crossbar as much as I did when it came to this card, whether it was crosses, whether it was volleys, whether it was regular shots. I, I hit the post so many times with this card, it was ridiculous. But obviously, I wasn't timing the shots. Uh, and there are a lot of instances where I am putting too much power, right? You could see that the angle of where the shot actually went, it just tips the top of the crossbar. It's those ones where it hits the side of the post. That's the ones you have to be concerned about the most, right? But like I said, I wasn't timing the shots. Some of the shots that I took from the, um, you know, the ones that hit the crossbar in the post were from uh, low percentage strikes, right? So I didn't necessar necessarily mind... Uh, that he missed them, right? Because again, it, without timing, you're always going to have an inconsistency, right? But the base card stats for shooting being as good as it is, 
is an important thing. I just don't feel like I noticed that high medium work rate as much as possible because of his body type and because of the way that he was initially. Like for me, it still feels like he plays to this. Like, you know, when they gave Benzema a medium, medium to a high low, it was a huge difference, okay? Like, it was, it was super noticeable in game. I still think Benzema's attacking AI is one of the best in the game, if not the best for the striker position. Like, the card is just insane, depending on the play style that you're going for, obviously, right? Because sometimes having an Icardi play style is usually ideal, depending on what you're looking for, right? But uh, I like the improvement that they did to Vlahovic, but with him being a physical type striker, I do feel like he's very, very expensive for what he offers in game. But uh, yeah, if he ever shoots down in price and you guys want to try him out, He's definitely a very good improvement from the player of the month card. Just cards like this shouldn't be that expensive, you know what I mean? But they did a lot of changes, which is why he's so expensive on the market. Work rate adjustments, uh, huge. Uh, the dribbling boost and agility and balance. Like, people look at that they're like, oh my god, you know? But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.